and guess what it's Tuesday morning it's tonic Tuesdays how has your week been oh this week was just um, amazing filled with love and laughter and uh, my daughter was here and her boyfriend and uh, yesterday I spent the day sorting out cleaning up decluttering I have lots to talk about on that subject which I have been talking about oh I got a thumbs up already hi <laughs> hey Carlton so we are gonna make a hot creamy tonic and I'm gonna tell you some things that I discovered this week so first we're gonna heat up some water that's the base of the tonic is hot water or hot hot liquid hot 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 hello <laughs> no Dara what do you mean no Dara I'm here here we go hot water is base And I'm going to treat myself because making a tonic for yourself is a treat. It's such a good way of, such a good thing of self-love. Taking the time for yourself to do something nourishing and heartwarming and good for the spleen and, oh, hi, Dara. I was like, no, Dara. It's Tonic Tuesday, Laura. I can't believe it. And I'm actually going to set up, I just ordered lights to do Makeup Mondays. And we're gonna have lights in the kitchen again. I'm really looking forward to that. So, um, let's wipe down the counter, that's important. I'm so happy since I hung my crystal back in the window. Do you see the prisms? Can you see the prisms dancing? I'm gonna move it. So the wind blows through, the wind blows through here. Uh, not the dream catcher, this part. Do you see that? Anyway, so we have tons of, dancing prisms which make me so happy it's just like they greet me in the morning so if you have direct sunlight I highly recommend wherever you have direct sunlight hang a Swarovski crystal um, ball <clears throat> so yo you just got one great yeah it just makes me so happy they had come down I hang them from fishing line and sometimes when people use the blinds uh, they can might fall down or something but I'm gonna do makeup Monday Laura I just ordered a, a diva a diva ring light as per Tammy's suggestion and I have the most beautiful natural makeups so I'm excited about that to share uh, what I do minimally what I do maximally and um, uh, in the morning you know I open up the blinds I fluff the beds you may or may not know that I do a thing we call darifying the house where I go through I open up the blinds I fluff the sheets the pillows on the sofa I light some sage I'm putting on this monk oil, which is really, um, I got this at Moon Juice, and it really just feels very protective. Ah, So we can make ourselves happy with sight, with prisms, with sound, the sound of the tea kettle, some beautiful music, maybe La Vie en Rose. We can make ourselves happy by making a beautiful tonic and taking care of ourselves, because this is how I don't do coffee. Although coffee's fine for some people. I'm not knocking coffee, I'm knocking coffee for me. And I'm not saying I'll never have it. I don't do that. I just, in the morning, if I have a choice, and I can use reishi to uplift the heart. Cacao has a bit of caffeine, so it's not like I'm zero caffeine. So the basis of a tonic is, um, one for your first tonic a quarter teaspoon it depends what the extract is like mine is 10 to 1 it's a very high extract so chew a little bit and then you can build but it's not going to hurt you it's really an adaptogenic uh, herb so you just don't want to overdo too many at one time so just taking reishi to start is perfect if you just get one i'd say reishi or chaga um, i've been kind of mixing it up because i have a bunch of things here so I kind of do it intuitively. I decide what I want at that particular moment. And lately it's been maca. I, perhaps I need to balance my hormones. At 51, I do not have menopause. I don't feel like it's gonna happen to like 57. But it doesn't mean that the PMSs don't get wacky. Um, so it's very loud out there. It's loud. Excuse our garbage trucks. I'm gonna open up the blind. I didn't darify this, really. I stayed in bed late lounging and it felt so good. Makuna, 
for happy. Rhodiola. I take rhodiola. I've been taking that every day. Oh, it's so loud. In capsule form. And I do believe you should have. Yeah, I'm 51, Lee. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I do believe you should have rhodiola every day. So I have a rhodiola extract in a tincture, but it feels like um, Kelsey. I totally feel like that's gonna happen to me. Like 58, maybe even 60. I don't even know. So um, that's great. <laughs> Or not, I don't know. Yeah, it's great. So, you thought I was in my 30s? You're so cute. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put in some coconut sugar. It's the tonics. <laughs> Who's a geriatric groupie? Eddie, are you? That's funny. Okay. I think tonics and raw food and clean cooking are gonna keep you um, fabulous. Thank you, Christopher. That's so nice. We have great male representation here today. I'm so happy. Let's get away from the, the trucks. Picking up the garbage on Tuesdays. You are, Eddie. Well, welcome. Happy to have you here. I'm happy to have the gentlemen. We have true gentlemen here and lovely, lovely, lovely ladies. And of that, I am proud. So, so far we have Maka and we have Makuna. We could stop it there, but since we talked about Reishi, and Reishi uplifts the heart, it's also good for cardiovascular function, which I've been told by a Chinese um, doctor, uh, he's an acupuncturist, and he looked at my tongue and he said, you need to build up your cardio, which quite frankly, I used to do a lot of working out and I have not been working out like I used to. So we're gonna grab some Reishi. I'm very Ms. Dara. <laughs> reishi is the thing. Reishi is one of my favorites. Um, I'm going to show you what I did here. I'm very excited. I'm removing some jars from here. I had this great idea that my beautiful pottery I've been collecting can go on the shelf. Doesn't that look nice? Instead of just all jars. So I have to sort through these. Maybe I'm, I'm staying current. I think with feng shui and decluttering, let's take this. The biggest thing is staying current, right? Like. I was a private chef. I made things in bulk. Now I don't really order that much in bulk. I order a little bit, because it's just me. So, and my boyfriend sometimes, but it's not like I need to order in bulk like I used to. And lately I've been collecting beautiful um, bowls and ceramics and pottery, and I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have them out of the cabinet and have, right, isn't that pretty? Dust ceramics, humble ceramics. I just love them. And I want to look at them because they're pretty. My friend Lisa made this one. Um, so here we go. <laughs> We're, sorry, I'm, I'm carrying you guys with me all around. I'm gonna start getting back into food again. I, I got lights for the kitchen. I've got lights to do makeup Mondays, so we're gonna be all set. It's about staying current. I do. So the, the coconut oil, hi person doll, the coconut oil helps everything be palatable because some of these herbs are quite bitter. Some are not, but some have a very strong flavor. So hot water or hot almond milk is the base or coconut milk or whatever you want to use or part water, part almond milk. You have a hot liquid. Then you have a fat, like you're suggesting coconut oil, cacao butter. Um, if you're not vegan, you can use ghee. Um, if you want to use... Um, well, those are the two oils. Those are the two fats that I use. And then you have some kind of sweetener. Anything from coconut sugar to a date to agave to stevia to a mixture of all three to keep it low glycemic, stevia for no glycemic. We have a monk fruit. So you have a sweetener. Then you have a myriad of herbs. And then you have um, a pinch of salt always, I do that. And then the flavor is gonna be in the cacao or the carob, if you're sensitive to cacao, use carob. And I'm a big fan of what I'm about to show you, which is called Dandy Blend. So if you wanted to have a coffee flavor, if you're really trying to fool yourself and get off of coffee, then, it's funny, this is the one I use almost every day and it's not in a jar, I have to put this in a jar. Dandy Blend, it's roasted chicory and dandelion root. There are other things to use. There's teas to brew. This one is a powder, 
so it suits me. It is gluten-free. It says so on the bag, gluten-free. You don't have to worry. And it makes it taste like coffee. And if you're trying to get off coffee and the caffeine isn't enough, uh, the cacao isn't enough of a caffeine boost, then I highly recommend using a yerba mate tea as the base or a black tea. Give yourself the caffeine. Um, the things that are detrimental in coffee are not, it's not just the caffeine. There's like the oils, the, you know, there's different things that affect you and your adrenals. So if we're trying to wean off of caffeine, first we wean off of coffee, then it's so easy to just make this with herbal teas. And I don't miss caffeine at all. I haven't had any, aside from a little bit of cacao that I put in here, and I don't even need it, but I do it for flavor. And I feel like a calmer person who sleeps better and it's just wonderful. So I'm gonna use the rest of this. So we stay current. So when a jar becomes empty, we refill it or we wash it and we put it away. We have to currently address who we are at any given moment. I'm not a private chef anymore. Although I was watching, Bar it was funny, I was watching a Barbara Streisand special on Netflix. This is just cacao, and then I can wash this and refill it, or just refill it. And it was funny, I was looked up at the audience for a second, she made them laugh, and I think they panned on Tim Robbins. That was my person I was a, a chef for. I was a chef and a friend um, in... Oh gosh, I don't even know about the bio hormone train thing you're talking about. I hear people do things, but it doesn't sound right to me. There's something about that and the hormone replacement where, I don't know, I just think that there's really natural ways we can manage ourselves. One being, I'm gonna be upping my raw food. I've been having a lot of clean cooking food and it just, the vibration's different. Like it calms you, it lowers you, it grounds you. Uh, cooked food enables you to walk this earth more like other people, but the raw food will make you feel high. <laughs> yes, hello. I don't know what's true, Kinji Robin Love. I have, um, today, how I washed my face this morning is I used uh, one of Robin's oils, Kindry Skin Care, and I just rub beautiful oil on my face and neck, and then I get a hot washcloth and I wring it out, and I gently um, rub my face, so it kind of exfoliates and moisturizes and cleanses at the same time. So I love Robin Skin Care. Look up K-I-N-D-R-I Kinji.com. I think that's the website. So, oh, that's funny. I have a Japanese peeler in my, I ordered this. My peeler broke and it was in my pocket. So I'm so excited. We have in here, we have Makuna to make us happy. Um, <laughs> I think it's inner and outer. I think it's taking care of your skin and it's just taking care of your insides. It's just everything. So we have Makuna to make us happy, Reishi for our heart and cardio function, we have coconut sugar to make it sweet, we have dandy blend to make it taste like coffee, we have cacao to open up our blood vessels. Cacao has caffeine, and yet it acts as a vasodilator to help these herbs go shooting into our organs. <laughs> um, too much fat will make you feel fatty. Too much nuts will make you feel nutty. Too much fruit will make you feel fruity. Potatoes will make you feel rooted and grounded. We can, we can really manipulate how we feel. So if you are feeling heavy, which can happen after Thanksgiving, I highly recommend lightening with fruit and green juices and salads which, and tonics, which is what I'm going to be doing. I partake and then I back off and do it Dara style. So definitely salt. I don't do a thing without a pinch of salt. If you also want to lose weight, water weight, just leave out salt. <laughs> Eat fruit for a week, you'll be fine. So um, I'm gonna put some coconut oil in. I have water fasted in the past. I really just hate it, of course, who would like fasting? Um, but yes, even if you just want to eat dinner at night and not have anything but water until dinner the next day, that's a nice little fast. Um, you'd be surprised how, you know, tired you get when you do that. And I really do, I actually do believe in it, um, fasting, whether it's juice fasting, water fasting, definitely under the supervision of the True North Health, what is it, True North Health Center, um, if you're going to do a serious water fast. Yeah, I love being quiet for a day and not having any food for a day. I love that. And I think I just do it naturally. Like when my boyfriend goes back to Pump Springs or he's off and I'm doing my thing, I just have a tonic and then I have juices. I don't eat that much for like a day after, you know, being with other people. Um, 
in partaking in just when I'm by myself, I, I think I need less. So it's funny why a lot of women, when they get boyfriends, gain weight or they have husbands. It's weird. It's like we're feeding them more than we might eat ourselves. As a projector, I'm influenced by what other people are doing um, in human design. If you don't know your human design, oh, I'm excited. Look up um, my bodygraph.com and you can find out what you are in human design and then if you really want to know more about yourself I know a reader and her name is Jenna you're a manifesting generator we got a superhero in the house a lot of dear people near me are manifesting generators I love them I love everybody manifesting generators have like this superhero energy and you can get a lot of things done and start a lot of projects and Feel bad about maybe not finishing them? Thank you. And this is gonna be steamed. We're gonna steam my favorite for steaming. I like fresh almond milk for cereals and drinking, but since we're heating this anyway, I'm going to, it's carrageenan free, which carrageenan is like a seaweed and for some reason it's inflammatory. I don't know the details of that. That's just what I heard. Let's get, uh, let's go wash. The unsweetened vanilla is great, and it's organic, and that's nice. So we have more manifesting generators. I have to rinse out my, I didn't do my dishes yesterday. Um, so you got the, you have, manifesting generators have the ener energy. The generators have unbelievable energy, and then the manifesting generators have vision and energy. So you have a lot of potential, my lovies. And then there's so many details. Each person is so different, right? Your whole thing, there's so many details to it. It's fascinating. And I love that my friend Jenna just picked it up like it's just this second language for her. So she does readings. Okay. We cleaned the little compresso frother, right? And we are i didn't light my sage yet i woke up late it was so nice did you ever sleep late i gave myself permission because on one of jenna's instagram posts it said uh we need nine hours of sleep a night projectors <laughs> i normally get eight lovies hi susan joe you love my tonics jackie i love my tonics too so we're steaming some milk because today's an extra special morning it's Tonic Tuesdays. Today is a day of action, okay? Today is ruled by the planet Mars. Passion, lust, war, sex, red, blood, getting things done, tackling your list, moving things, picking up things, literally getting rid of things. If you can do that, go to war with your clutter. <laughs> I'm gonna light some sage. Let's do that. So you, you guys, how are you doing on the, I have a, a, an interesting thing to uh, war. <laughs> Could be good. Sometimes we need to be warriors, right? Sometimes we need to stand up for ourselves and do the things, you know, that are maybe scary or hard. But when we get them done, we feel so good and accomplished. Hi, I'm so glad you like my reishi tonic. We're having a little right we don't want arguments because things can be a little fiery today so we sage and we have ourselves a calming tonic and then we uh, we go to war with our own things like our own battles maybe not you know it's a we certainly don't want to go to war with other people but there is a time and a space like for standing up for yourself okay that's good to know a thermography i don't even know what that is I guess that's a gentler mammography. We're putting, um, I'm just of this belief, Charlotte Gerson, Dr. Max Gerson's daughter, Dr. Max Gerson had a 50% cure rate for terminally ill patients, cancer patients. His protocol is intense, no fat, some cooked food, but it's like uh, potatoes and some, I think potatoes, I don't remember if it's like some root vegetables or some vegetables, no salt, no oil, 
um, extremely detoxifying, a lot of juices, particular juices, very particular protocol. But he had a 50% cure rate for terminally ill patients. Like, we're, we're not supposed to know that, right? Because they want us to go down the, the pharmaceutical path. Anyway, his daughter said, yeah, the Gerson protocols are incredible. Um, and um, his daughter says you heal one disease, you heal them all. So it's not it really, in their mind, it doesn't matter where you have cancer, you're gonna heal the body in the same way. So when you, want to, when you start to heal your body with raw foods and with clean foods, and you start to heal something that you know you have, you start to heal other things that you don't know you have and you just feel better overall. So it really is all about, for me, tonics, raw food, some clean cooking, being happy. Certainly the most important thing is to, um, the most important thing, I'll tell you that Jackie, I believe, uh, the most important thing is to be happy and stress-free. So Laura, vaccine interests, Gerson's is the way to go. I mean, did you go to the, did anyone go to the Institute in Mexico? I'm so, so curious. Um, I believe that it's expensive to get to the point where we have to take care of ourselves in that way, but go, if something happened to me, um, I would go raw food, either the Dr. Morse way, uh, the detox miracle, or, um, Dr. Gabriel Cousins, Tree of Life, it's less sugar, more fat. They're different. You stick to one protocol and they're going to work. Or the Gerson, they're all going to work because they're all about healing, uh, healing your body. So Dr. Morris, I've not met him in person, but I love his way and I think I would go that way. Um, yeah, I love his way. He's, I love his way. So we have to blend. Tuesdays means we get to talk about healing and all kinds of other things. It's our way of having a little tonic chat or having a tonic bar and we're hanging out. Um, yeah, it's it, it, so you did the Gerson protocol at home. It's very intense, right? Did you do all the juices throughout the day? I did it for my mom. I had this woman come in and she trained me for three days and how to do the Gerson protocol. And uh, it was a lot. I was up till three o'clock in the morning reading the book and um, it worked. They detoxified. Uh, I don't need to go into details, but Herbie got better. And that was the start of his raw food, Gerson first and then raw food after. So you're gonna make your tonic now? Awesome. So we're steaming. We're already steamed. I like to do the steamer twice, like one and a half times. So let's go get a pretty mug, shall we? <laughs> I'm keeping all my pottery out. My today's project is going through these things and seeing what's current and fitting them all on shelves up there and reorganizing the books. But I feel like today is Mars Day, so we're gonna have a radish by Dust Ceramics mug and I had a couple of interesting experiences one is that I just sitting here and I went ah, ah of course put my pottery there and uh, put other things that need to be away in the cabinets then the other thing was that um, over the summer over the past six months or however long I definitely went up a size in jeans because I noticed that I wasn't fitting into my really tiny jeans and I have the cutest Levi's and I've collected them and I love them and I'm like oh my gosh how did that happen poof it happened travels whatever not as much exercise as I used to do um, easy to take off weight if you dust d-u-s-t ceramics they're definitely on Etsy and dust underscore ceramics on Instagram, Johanna and Arthur, amazing, Arthur. So yeah, tell me if you can't find them, we'll post the links, you're just so lovely people, I can't tell you. They've invited uh, Patrick and I to go to um, Landers to visit them, and she's just so sweet. So I was thinking, I was like, oh, these jeans, the jeans, I'm not fitting into them. Okay, well, you know, that's okay, it's not like, um, I feel bad. It's just like, oh, they're really cute jeans. So I was like annoyed for, a, I've been annoyed <laughs> about them for like a month since I got, I've been home longer. And I'm like, well, I'm either going to lose the weight, not going to lose the weight. And the funny part is, is I feel good. So I'm not even sure that I'm supposed to, um, because I feel good. And it's really, 
not about for me ever going on a diet, ever. Like I can't ever say I'm going on a diet. That's just so depressing. So I just kind of eat how I'm eating and I naturally lighten up. Doesn't this look pretty? Um, I naturally lighten up. So the jeans, the clothes, the old clothes that we don't fit into and we love them or we spend a lot of money on them and we think, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear them one day. Guess what? When we finally get smaller, if we do, we probably don't have the same style. Uh, we ourselves change cellularly all the time. And current, who I am current, isn't who I am you know, a number of years ago or even last year. So it was interesting because I had the jeans in a bin in my studio because I was like, oh, they're annoying me in my closet. I only want the things that I wear in my closet. And then I was like, I don't know. And I ran into Jason at the Dig Rig who sells vintage Levi's. And I told him like, oh, I went up a size. And he's like, well, and um, he's like, I have other things. Just bring your stuff in and we'll trade. And I brought my stuff in and I got the cutest things. I got overalls, I got jeans that are so cute to fit. And I was like, it's such a good example of like when we're willing to let go, we receive in some fashion. So for those of us who are hanging on to our old way or our old size or whatever it is, I want to encourage us to let go and make room for the new in our closets, in our lives. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> you do get what I'm saying. So it's kind of like taking a look at who we are currently. Um, and that's it. Like currently, I have pottery. And I don't need all the bulk and all the things out. Maybe I don't need the black tea. I could pass that on because I'm not having caffeine. Maybe um, I will take the sesame seeds and use them and the almonds and the cashews. So I really feel like it's funny, like even me with all my decluttering, my friend Vicky always says, how is it possible that you have more to do? And I can't say that I know why it's possible, but I think mostly because I stay current. Um, oh, you love the cuties? Those, oh, you saw the cuties, Johanna and Arthur on Instagram. So adorable, lovely, talented people. And they're made with love. She's a total artist. They're artists. Like, it's just made with love. And that's important to me because the tonic was made with love. So, let's go sit somewhere else. I'm going to have to look at my mess. So, Tonic Tuesdays. Is there anything you guys want to know? I'm, I'm moving in here because the light's better. We're going to have such good light soon in, um, in the kitchen because I've got lights again. I gave away my lights because I got annoyed with them. Um, the kitchen was always like a studio and I wanted it to feel like a home and now I'm like, I miss the lights. So um, things change. Things get better. Uh, they improve. Styles change. We change. Lighting changes. Um, Things change. We let go, we receive, and I think it's really, really, really important. As within, so without. If we're willing to let go of belongings that don't serve us anymore, we're kind of letting the universe know we're willing to let go of things in our body. We will lose weight. I really was like, it was so funny when I was walking around in my new jeans or my new overalls, and I think, oh, you know what? I feel so um, happy. I feel good. And when you're feeling happy and good, you're more likely to move your body and dance and have fun. So that was my message for letting go of the clothes. Um, yeah, lacoom is heavy. You have to blend it and just keep it's It's a heavy powder. Um, just blend it again. That's the only thing. I like salts. I like salts and salts help your adrenals. Um, so I can't say anything other than salts help me. For thyroid, um, I feel like, oh, you're welcome. I'm sitting with you. <laughs> I, I think that it's a good idea to read. I heard that uh, Anthony Williams has a book on thyroid issues. I'm going to order that. So let's discuss that. We'll have a book review on that one. And there's also uh, Adrenal Fatigue, the 20th Century Epidemic. The adrenals are tied in with the thyroid. So when I needed to get help from my thyroid, with Dr. Sadegi, he helped me with um, vitamin infusions like IV. I was taking uh, nature soid instead of synthroid. And I love black salt. It's sulfury, so black salt will make your food. You can make like an egg salad 
uh, with cashews and uh, tofu if you want with with uh, sulfur, the sulfur and black salt. So for my thyroid, I was getting vitamin infusions. I went off of Synthroid. I went on something called Nature Stroid. And then um, the raw food, that's what helped me. So you heal one disease, you heal them all. And of course, there's things to boost, like licorice and different herbs. Um, he's a naturopathic doctor, which is na he's now a doctor to the stars. I saw him when he had first opened up his clinic on Venice Boulevard in the colon hydrotherapy uh, office. <laughs> he said he was literally in a shithole, literally. Um, and now he has this beautiful center in Calabasas called the Beehive of Healing. It's one B. You can look it up, B-E hiveofhealing.com and his name is Dr. Sadegi and he's genius and brilliant and really all about looking at what's going on in your life and how it's affecting your blood. I know he's so funny and he's great and so now all of a sudden don't ask me how I would see Cameron Diaz in his office and Demi Moore one day and then <laughs> you know and then um, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, I didn't see her, but she's, they have four words on each other's books, and uh, he does Chris Martin, and now I believe Beyonce and Jay-Z, so, and some other beautiful, lovely family members of ours, so he's helped a lot of people. You have to be willing to um, address your emotional issues, which I was like, oh, why did I contract my thyroid disease? Oh, I wanted to stop talking to my husband because he wasn't listening to me and I just gave up. And I remember the day I did and I just stopped speaking. I tried to communicate every way I could and it wasn't working. So there was a lot of frustration. And I literally remember the day I was standing in front of my closet and I was like, I give up. Like, I just give up. And there you have it. And when you contract your dis-ease, you, um, you, you do it for a reason. It serves you in some way. So identifying why you contract it and how it serves you, and it does serve you. It's a weird thing, but like, you know, you might gain weight as an F you to somebody who's, you know, being a jerk or who knows what it is. Like there's letting my hair down. So, um, you know, we don't know why, I don't know why you contract, but we all contract what we have on purpose and then it's like this amazing our bodies are an amazing tool to say go in another direction you're going in the wrong direction you know stop the stress uh, get out of that relationship speak up for yourself um, don't you know don't be with someone who can't hear you or really get help or there's so it it serves us like the weight gain serves us so that we're not gonna attract unwanted sexual attention or um, yeah, it's a totally throat chakra communication thing, and so many women have it because they just don't feel comfortable speaking up. Oh, uh, yeah, and chop your hair. It's always good to cut your hair. <laughs> it's always good to let go. It's good to let go. I do believe that hanging on is hanging on. Grow it out, but then don't be too attached. That's what I think. Okay, the tonic is great. Um, yeah, thyroid health is, to me, like we all have a weak link. Oh, thank you. I've grown my own hair color in, and um, yeah, I'm not really used to it yet. It seems kind of dark, but maybe with the lights it'll look lighter. So my theory, or one of them, is that we all have a weak link, right? Like maybe it's our lower backs go out. Uh, that signifies security. Thank you. Yeah, there's not like there's no gray and natural highlights are coming in So that's kind of fun or they're the Sun's making them. So uh, Thank you for that and I'm trying to grow it so um, If you have if your weak link is your thyroid you could be eating your perfect diet taking your supplements and then all of a sudden somebody BAM stresses you because stressors happen then Thank you indigo I can keep it this way. I don't have to do a thing. Um, my hair looks good this length. Yeah, it's a good length, I think. So basically, if stress comes in, I'm all of a sudden going to feel my eyelids heavy or tired or it, it just like hits my this area. But it might hit somebody else in their back, their neck, their, you know, wherever, um, you know, skin problems. And so there's a wonderful book um, about the different body parts that signify different emotional things. Louise Hay wrote it. Um, 
I never had gray hair. Nope, mm -mm. one gray, there's one gray eyebrow hair that comes in. <laughs> um, no, I don't have gray hair. I, there's, a, there's a Chinese herb called Ho Shou Wu, which I use. Yes, you can heal your life. So you can look up, if you hurt your foot, your left foot or your right foot, if you hurt your elbow or your head's hurting, you can look at what's going on. Try Ho Shou Wu. Ho Shou Wu was named after a man named Mr. Ho Shou Wu, and he started using Ho Shou Wu, and his gray hair went black. Again, that's the story. So Ho Shou Wu book is, is great. There's so many great books to read. Um, we want to be careful what we take in. Like we don't want to watch like harmful movies or stop watching the news and take the time and read, read these books. Louise Hay, I'm reading a book. Yeah, she's, she's, it was a great lady. What a great lady. So, uh, what else can I tell you guys? I think that's it. I want you to really take a look at your home. Who are you today? Who you were last year is not who you are today. Who are you today? Who you are today is not who you were five years ago. Are you still hanging on to clothes that you haven't worn in a year? Are you still, take a look and see if your home matches who you feel you are today and who you would like to be. Um, and it goes like, it's really funny how we live with things and we don't pay attention. We just kinda, they're there. We put them there, they're there. But it's amazing what we do in the meantime. Like we could fix up our homes and then all of a sudden now I'm seeing, yeah, you wanna have two candles in your love area and someone put those three candles there. Three is not what you want in your love area. You want two, unless you want a, a threesome or a, some kind of love triangle, which you know is a, a love triangle. <laughs> so um, fascinating. Ho Sho Wu, Hei Sho Wu, however you pronounce it. Hey, H E. That's so funny, I have to see it. It's H E S H O U and W U. That's how I believe it's spelled. There's another name for it. Katrina Blair grows it, or she finds it in the wild, and she. Um, she gave me some Ho Sho Wu. We are going through our wardrobe too, baby. That's so great. Just go through your wardrobe and be really honest with yourself. Do you really look good in it? Does it really feel good to wear it? Is it who you are today? And be willing to let go. It feels so liberating. I can't even tell you. Clothes that don't fit just don't fit. They don't fit you. They don't fit you who you are right now. And unless you see yourself fitting in them in the next number of months, then uh, let them go. That's the, I keep one, like I kept one or two pairs of those Levi's because they'll be fun. If I do go down a size, then I will be in them. And if not, I will let them go and not worry about it. <laughs> um, I'm doing some stretches. Feels very nice. Stretch morning, tonic morning. Um, I think that's all we got. I think we had a nice morning. We missed John B. There's some normal, there's some Tuesday morning family members that weren't here, but we'll see them next time. I'm gonna start doing nighttime with Dara. Third Thanksgiving was a wild and uh, active week, and now I'm gonna be looking forward to uh, having more videos. That's so great. Every time you do your laundry, you chuck what you don't need anymore. Excellent. Hold on. I've been making space in my wardrobe for my partner that I hope to manifest. I did that. I really emptied my closet. Like, I, my, half of my closet was empty. Aw, oh, porcelain doll, thank you for being a blessing in our lives. <laughs> thank you for being here, and thank you for being grateful. Um, I see you, Diane. See you on the replay. So we made a beautiful tonic. We talked about staying current with ourselves. We talked about thyroid health. We talked about the biggest thing that we have to keep away is clutter and stress. I believe clutter makes stress. I believe letting go of clutter helps us free ourselves of stress and weight and um, heaviness. And, oh, that's nice, Kelsey. All right, you guys, do some stretch. Oh my goodness, for a breastfeeding mom, I'm gonna send you to, hi, Raw Cuisine, I'm gonna send you for breastfeeding, uh, cause I wasn't raw when I was breastfeeding. <laughs> um, I know a lot of the herbs are safe, 
my friend Manuela Cascalini on Facebook. Um, I would call Jing Herbs, absolutely, and ask them because they are experts. Um, hi, Robin. I'm so glad I'm giving you a hug. Inspiration is just my favorite word. Oh, my children. Are we talking about our children or other people's clutter? Keep cluttering their bedroom, LOL. And I'm, I'm a Virgo mother. Well, I have um, Virgo. <laughs> Hi, Patrick. <laughs> I just got a cute text. That's so sweet. Um, I have Virgo rising, and my daughter has no intention of keeping any space super orderly and clutter-free. She wants the clutter, and um, I let her room be her room, but I did on occasion, and she makes fun of me for it. I used to say, give me nine, like, just throw out nine things in into the... She, I think it, it's just, um, it's just, um, oh, thank Linda. Hi, honey. Um, it's, it's really... Everybody's room has to be according to how they want it as long as it's somewhat clean like we don't want weird things growing in there But I think they they will learn and I really need to put out my free the chi book for children because it's all about a, a cleaning your room as a kid <laughs> And how important it is and how much easier it is to play and connect with other people when your room feels orderly So somebody remind me to do that. I have the story um, I think I'd like to re-illustrate it although it's pretty cute the way it is um, take care of the things that matter to you by tending to them you tend to you too and your children um, need to see by example one room like a playroom that feels good and you could have pretty music and lighting and they can um, teens are gross <laughs> they just don't care but they start to care later on so you don't have to worry about it like it, it ends up being a phase and the more we push for cleanliness the more they might be like I don't care and so they think of themselves different and they need to think of this, themselves different so they might say I don't care you like me then I like clutter but eventually they're probably gonna care um, there's a couple things that I demanded of my daughter. I did demand that she know how to steam vegetables. Um, I did say that no food, you know, obviously gets left in her room. Um, but I really let her have a lot of her stuff, although she, she'll say I had made her get rid of things. But you can't, they can't keep everything. They just can't keep everything. And so I would kind of describe it to them like, her like there's children who need things and they have nothing and you have so much and can you part with something uh, it's it's a it's a funny topic I, I do find it funny I think we have just have to learn how to shut the door if you're a really neat Virgo mom and your children are messy let them be as they are I think but I can understand it being attention though she could have her room the whatever she wanted it but this living room couldn't have junk everywhere like it would make me crazy and she knew it so she she learned how to not keep a mess in the living room at least so I think that's a nice compromise because you have to consider you we teach our children how to consider other people and if they leave their mess everywhere they're not being very considerate of the other members of the team I would say we're a team Jada and um, we help each other so that's what I do I'm gonna heat up my tonic. I want more tonic. You guys are gonna make tonic today and have greens. I'm gonna have green juices and I'm gonna be happy and maybe I'll show you what I did in the studio because it's totally done. I decluttered like, I think this is it. I'm almost completely done. <laughs> I think I've said that before. It's a constant process. Who are you today? Who do you wanna be? Um, when is my tonic, tonic coming out? I'm having a meeting with my friend Tristan on Wednesday. So I get to discuss that. Yes, I get asked daily. That seems like an invitation from the universe to do at least a, a small run of them. I gotta find a new co-packer. Anyway, I love you guys. There's so much fun things to do. So, my moon is in Cancer. I have um, Capricorn, Sun, yes. You're making a salad and your own salsa, yum. You're a Facebook virgin. <laughs> you don't have to be on Facebook. I'm happy to go both places, although I do Feng Shui Fridays on Facebook, and I'm gonna start doing uh, Makeup Mondays here and food. We're gonna have some food or some quick, quick, easy, uh, whatever. So um, I'm so glad you guys are here. I had so much fun with you today. Cheers, get your tonics on, get your greens on, get your decluttering on. Seriously, start letting go of stuff. It will feel so good. Edith, it's a pleasure. Sleepy time tonic for sale. I know, right? 
Have such a great day and I'll see you guys later.